Needless to say, we want to do everything we can to avoid cancer. That means take good care of yourself. I've been beating this drum for a while, but lots of fresh water, no sugar, good food. Okay, that's clear. Now, the latest literature is saying that infections can increase our risk of cancer. And because of that, the medical literature is saying that we should use immunizations as the primary treatment. I totally disagree. Immunizations are possibly a good choice in some people, um, but I think We've got a huge, gigantic world population, six, seven billion people. We've got tons of people. We cannot possibly immunize them all, nor do I think should we. But instead, to take positive, preventive steps to take care of your body and improve your immune system. That means avoid processed, junky food. That makes your immune system crazy. It can't do its job properly. You're putting a bunch of poison in there. The immune system recognizes that as trouble and tries to fight it. You can't possibly do well with that. So take good care of yourself that way. Give yourself the good foods that fight cancer. Your body's making cancer every day, little tiny bits of cancer, and your body fights it off and kills it and destroys it. Your body was made to keep you alive and to make you thrive and survive, but it can only do that when it's fed the right stuff to fight cancer. So don't eat junk and do eat good stuff because that will make a difference. And of all the things that you do to support your immune system, it's being great relationships with people who really care about you. So if you have somebody who's carping, nagging, and negative, ick, you want to avoid them because that suppresses your immune system. Sometimes you can avoid them altogether. Maybe it's your boss or maybe it's a family member and you can't avoid them. Limit your exposure because that is a negative on your immune system. So be around people who care about you. Be around people who are positive. Stay in situations where you are in control of your health as much as possible. Develop a great relationship with a doctor who really deeply cares about you because we're better together.